So guys, here you can see it, one more video has begun and in today's video of Django, I am telling about the query set. If you don't know what a query set in Django, so in today's video, your whole concept will be clear about it. So see the video start to end and please hit a like button, share friends, subscribe to my channel, you never get to all the notifications made also, you never miss our future latest videos. So now it did not take a long time, so let's move from your screen, let's do a coding with laughing. So guys, in today's Django video, I am telling about the query set. From now, uh, we are starting a new series about the query set. So let's get started about a query set in Django. A query set is a collection of data from the database. A query set is the built-in up as a list of objects. Query set makes it easier to get the data type you actually need. But by allowing you to, to filter and order the data at an earlier, earlier age, stage. In this tutorial, we are be querying data from the member table. Like this one example, there one example of the member. Querying data. In views.py, we have a view for testing called testing, where we test different queries. In this example below, we use the dot all method to get all the records and fields of the member model. Like this one example of the views.py file. Let me copy it. And let me go here. Let me open like here. And when I open my Django file or HTML file, And it take a little bit loading, but it will be open it very easily as like that. When it will be open it, paste this code in your views.py file. Then the object is placed in a variable and it called the my data and is sent to the template via the context object has my members and it look like this, like that. Here you can see it. As you can see, our member model contains five records. Which records? Five records. And are listed inside the query set as five objects. In the template, you can use the my members object to generate the content. Like in the example, we in this example we write here tamp in the template.phtml. Uh, I'm writing this type of code. Let me copy it and let me paste it. Not like that, like that. Now, let's come down it. Now, here you can see like that you can do it. In today's video, we learn about the water query set in the Django. I know this video is very smaller. When you search on Google, okay, okay, this video is very important. And if you write a query set, so like that, there are more information is coming like what is a query set represent a collection of data, but I have already told you all things like that. So in today's video, we learn about the what a query set in Django. I know this video is smaller, but you must know what a query set. Query set is a collection of data from a database. What a query set is a collection of data from a database. Like in that, in today's video, we learn about it. If you want this type of table, so how you can want it, let me tell you. Only you go here. Only you paste it, run it, and when you run it, so then it gives you the output. If it not give you the output, reload it from here. Then it gives you the output like that. Here you can see it. Here it make one and and like that. Here you can see it make one table for me. Here you can see it. Like Jackson do it like that. So here you can see like that. You can make this. Okay, so now in today's video, we learn about what a query set in Django. So I hope you can enjoy this class. If you enjoy, so please hit a like button, share your friends, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to all the notification bell also. So you never miss of our future latest video. So what for today? Goodbye.